Well, hello and welcome back. And today's poem is uh, one of the, uh, if this is right, the most ubiquitous of poems, The Road Not Taken, uh, written by Robert Frost in 1915. And it is absolutely extraordinary that this poem has appeared in television advertisements. It's been the title for episodes in TV series. There's a video game named after it. And apparently, according to my research, has uh, appeared in over 2,000 news stories. It's been the title or chapter heading in over 400 books. And it is apparently the most widely read uh, poem of the past century. And uh, here's just a thought uh, for you to take with you as you listen to this poem and maybe reflect on it afterwards. It's uh, a question uh, posed by a well-known critic. Is it a claim, he says, is it a claim to can-do individualism or is it a commentary on the self-deception we practice when constructing the story of our lives? There's a good start for the day. The Road Not Taken by Robert Frost. Two roads diverged in a yellow wood and sorry I could not travel both and be one traveller, long I stood and looked down one as far as I could to where it bent in the undergrowth. Then took the other, as just as fair, and having perhaps the better claim, because it was grassy and wanted wear, though as for that the passing there had worn them really about the same. And both that morning equally lay in leaves no step had trodden black. Oh, I kept the first for another day. Yet knowing how way leads on to way, I doubted if I should ever come back. I shall be telling this with a sigh somewhere, ages and ages hence. Two roads diverged in a wood, and I... I took the one less travelled by, and that has made all the difference. <laughs>